Welcome to another video. I recently created a video whereby I installed React Native Scotty, which is the library which you can see right now playing this cute animation. It got me thinking, what if I install the normal low tier React Native file and actually see the difference myself? So because sometimes we tend to think that the newer, shinier library is actually the better one, which in most cases actually actually is, but sometimes you actually don't even see any noticeable difference between the two. Uh, React Native Scotty is supposed to be much faster, higher performance, smaller file sizes, and also... And also you we are able to actually have like a, like use other formats for, for for the animations but then one thing that you could be potentially losing are features and also what else you're losing is that is the community behind loti animations and the loti uh, react native loti uh, library so you are losing some things by actually using React. Many things change over time, but for now, the community around uh, React Native Scott is, is quite small. So I'm just going to install uh, low tier React Native and then side by side, you're going to see the two animations. I just want to see if will there be any noticeable difference between the two. So I'll start by going by Control C to stop the server and then npm i and then we're gonna install load react native okay while that in it is installing uh, we can actually go to the documentation and see what can we do with this library So we have here Loti React Native and you can see the installation. One of the best parts, it also works for web as well, which is cool and Windows, um, React Native for Windows, that's pretty cool. The API itself is quite similar to what we have for Scotty React Native. So, so that means that we won't have to do much, which is different. I'm just gonna copy this and then I'm just gonna place it below here okay let's import the library it's low to react native cool now that's done what i'm going to do now i'm going to give it the path to the animation that is currently playing and it would be nice if i gave it the same dimensions here we're gonna Let's give it a stylus so that you can see that between the two. So let's just give it a text align. The link to this code will be in the description. So if you just wanna get the GitHub repo with this code, it's description. Cool. Okay, I'm just gonna start up the server and PM run start. And then here we have React Native Scotty. At the top. And then below that, we're gonna have React Native Loading. So, gonna save that and then we're gonna start up the Android emulator so the app is finishing up building okay cool so 
let's just do this let's give it the same dimensions to okay cool we have both animations running here uh on the top we have react native skier and then at the bottom we have react native scotting so here like the difference at the moment is just uh, like I don't seem to see a big noticeable difference in the animation. Maybe let's make the emulator much bigger so that we can actually see the fine details between the two. I could see there is some flickering on the low T side. You might not see it from the camera, but there's some flickering which is happening to the animation. Whereas the skier animation is much smoother. So apparently this is caused by the, it's more like the frame per seconds improvement. There's a 63% improvement in the frame rates on the React Native skier. And I, I'd say it's actually noticeable I can see like actually much smoother and then in terms of CPU usage it's actually using less as well so it's remarkable uh, that you get higher frames and lower CPU uh, performance this is all thanks to to skier so these animations are actually side to side let me actually add more animations and see if we can see something I just went to the Loti website and downloaded a new animation and then I've just named it animation 2 which you see here um, I'm gonna let's see the difference between this first animation and this one is actually this is a, like a dot Loti uh, which is a smaller size of file so let's import here animation 2 and see what happens if are we actually gonna get something and in this case, we're getting an error. So that means it actually doesn't even work uh, that well. So it's actually animation 2.json and it's complaining here. So it might be true that, as you can see, this is the, the normal JSON. And then this is a special file, uh, which is supposed to be supported by both and in this case, it's not. So let me just download a normal file, uh, like a normal low JSON file, which should work. Okay, so since we just downloaded the third one, so press play here. So this is a normal, it's called animation three. So it's a third file here like a normal JSON file like a load JSON file. and you can see the animation is playing there's actually a, this dude was playing with a keyboard uh, do you see a noticeable difference for me there is nothing like literally there's nothing uh, that I can see is different let's try something else let's convert let's add a scroll view and then in this scroll view let's add the files that we already have and then let's add that one as well and then we're gonna just have two so we can just have a low to one dot json or like file and then let's put this here control D control D let's save that and then we can scroll between the two files okay 
Okay, I have got four animations going. And it's actually handling it quite nicely. Let me know how it goes on your site. Have you tried out this library? Are you seeing any noticeable difference? Uh, let me know how it goes. Anyways, uh, if you like this content, please do like and subscribe and I'll gonna be producing even more shorter content. Let me know what you think about this and have a great one y'all.